I want to see what Jar does in this match. I know uh, Aladdin, he has, uh, he really likes to drift back and forth a lot. He has really like to space you out and go for like a lot of, a lot of Lucina. Yeah. Come on. Kind of just like, it yeah, has a, like, a very Vortex type of uh, yeah. movement where like he it's just really draws good. people in. Yeah, it's really good. I haven't seen much of Charlie's Wolves to be honest with you. I know he uh, really wasn't feeling the Fox so much, so he's really wanting to give Wolf his off. Ooh, he nice feels Wolf is like the perfect character for him. He feels like this character was made for him. Sakurai made Wolf for Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he said that? <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, can you quote that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what's but, interesting yeah. is that people, you know, compare oh, yeah. Wolf to... Um, Sheiks, like Sheik? Sheik? Yeah. yeah, and exactly. uh, I, I mean, if you're familiar with the type of characters Charlie likes to, likes to play, Wolf is a character that fits his play style. He has good uh, neutral tools. He has a good combo game. And, you know, Charlie, he really loves like characters that can get a lot. You know, he likes really cool characters that can combo and do damage, you know? Yeah, and, go and, and I think there's something about, like, kind of how unorthodox. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice uh, call. Wolf is yeah. Wow. What? You can just do that in Yeah, neutral? it's really good, especially on, like, a tall, like, tall characters like Lucina. Wow. He could really get him. That was a really good call because he's seen um, yeah. Vladimir was trying to Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my no, goodness. Charlie's making oh. clips right now. Charlie, like I was saying earlier, Charlie with the combo characters, he really excels the best with these characters. Wow. Let's see if Aladdin can turn around and still like, <laughs> still keep his game plan as he was doing it. He racked him up to a lot of good damage mm -hmm. with the spacing. Let's see if he doesn't get impatient and keep, uh, like, give up his game plan versus Charlie. Yeah, oh, but Charlie is just in such a good position. Like yeah. he can just do whatever he wants now. Yeah, he really, he's really good. But um, uh, Lucina does have the tools to keep uh, Wolf out and keep him in space. Aladdin needs to. What I would like. To, oh, good. Get stuck. Okay, let's see if he gets his edge guard. Well, I like to see Valadin uh, do. He's kind of respecting Wolf's recovery a little bit too much. Lucina can go out there and like fish for it. I know he's kind of don't want to get caught by the side of our yeah. but yeah, good. good. Yeah, he killed him at 167. Now he needs to be careful because Wolf can still take a stock earlier. Right oh, here we go. He has to capitalize off this right now. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, Valadin is doing a pretty good job of like, you know, just backing off when he needs to and just figuring out like, all right, yeah. how to adapt. Yeah, as long as he doesn't keep, uh, one of the uh, big things some people do when you're a high percent is they move forward towards Wolf, and that's like a bad thing to do with Wolf. Because you never know what move Wolf is, you never know what hitbox he's going to throw out. Because like, at that point, oh, right. that was mostly caught a spot dodge, that was really good by Charlie. Yeah, I feel like a lot of uh, great plays are happening because someone throws that, um, an offensive option, but it's kind of defensive, yeah. and then they throw in a spot dodge right yeah. after it, and then yeah. punish. Really good. You know? Here we go, let's see if Valadin can beat his edge guard, take the stock, and uh, keep it a close game. He doesn't want Charlie to rack up damage heading into the edge last stock. Yeah. He's, oh, here we go. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah. But I want to see Valadin take advantage of, after he caused uh, a little bit of shield damage, I want to see him go for a little shield. Oh, try going off stage, can you capitalize on There we go. Okay, a nice little dance happening, like, on and off stage. He needs to go off, like DC. Uh, he needs to go off stage at least. Mm -hmm. Even if Troy has another jump, he needs to. Oh, there you go. He, the he needs to make his uh, presence felt at least too, so he can force Charlie to recover higher though. Yeah, and he I wonder. What? I wonder if like, uh, you know, uh, Wolf. Ooh, wow, D.I. missed. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah smash. Attack. That Mankey's D.I. And uh, it was. <laughs> In that situation, it was, but it, like Wolf, his dash attack sends you like, like if you're barely moving anywhere, his it's gonna either send you like the wonkiest way. So it was really, yeah. But he did miss the tech, so that was like a good PK punish freeze. by. Yeah, it was a good punish. Oh, we got some people popping off of there. Yeah. Oh, we got. Oh, Dang. we got okay, something happen. Oh, he's break dancing. He's filming himself. Did he get a win? <laughs> I don't know. Did he get a win? Okay. Oh, well, here we go. Going to game two. I didn't see what stage you picked, so I'm guessing a. Let's see. Oh, back to PS2. Okay. I feel Vlad feel comfortable in that one. He feels like he feel like he almost had. He feel like if he just play a little more things right, he'll be better in this one. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. And, and I know, uh, like from like the reason I even remember him from Smash Four is because he was very like precise. He was just like among. You know, Mr. E and all them, like, you know, kind of like one of the, the uh, ones he, entering into... Well, mid. he was... I wouldn't put him too much on Mr. E, though. He was just the up-and-comer. Like, if he would have went to more events, he yeah. could have made his presence felt, but he was mostly, like, the SoCal mini-boss for some people. Yeah, exactly. He was kind of, like, if he yeah. traveled more, he kind of might have been things, but I wouldn't, like, miss... Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. I just mean, like, you know, there's different levels. Yeah, he, was, yeah. he was pretty yeah. close to their level. Um, yeah. Put it there. Oh, here, go here. Oh, he took the first look. This is what... Now he has a really good lead on Charlie the King right now. What he needs to do is just like capitalize on it and like just rack up damage and just keep keep him out. Just yeah, keep playing as neutral. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Look, he has him. 
This is like oh, the opposite seen. of the last match. No, like, the opposite. This is exactly what like Charlie started the last match off yeah. as. But he needs to execute and get the stock if he really wants to feel comfortable because Wolf is a character that can turn it on you any second. So, yep. so for, for me, I feel if for Latin to feel comfortable, he has to take the stock right now from Charlie again. You know, I, uh, I don't know. I just saw this one moment where like uh, where Vladin uh, waited for a spot dodge from Charlie and punished that spot dodge. Yeah. So he's kind of like you know adapting to that same thing you know that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, Charlie has. I think Charlie's gonna slow his game. So, oh, there it goes. And Charlie is slowing his game uh, play down a little bit as he's seen how fast he didn't like how fast he uh, lost that stock. So you see, a Charlie's just gonna play patient and be more like pick his spots more carefully now. Yeah. And he, Latin, he's, uh, I know Dancing Blade's, uh, Dancing Blade, he's getting a lot of punishes off Dancing Blade, I've, you know? And yeah, I feel like Vladimir is kind of just like missing the mark on, on yeah. a lot of those. Because he's doing a lot of good things, but right now he's letting Charlie like bring it back on. He needs to like go back to what he was doing. Because now Charlie's beating him at his own game. He's yeah. kind of like waiting him out, drifting in back and forth, mm -hmm. and uh, baiting him into hits and then getting him with it. Yeah. That's what Vladimir was, there you go. Ooh, that back, back here. here. That was like there a you know. bar back here. Huh? No, this, that was a really good back here. Coming off a ladder. I just saw Charlie took killed him with the back air. There you go, let's see what Charlie does. Oh, another yeah. back air. And oh, Wolf's the, back air so good. I like what you were saying oh. about like uh here Charlie's going to oh well wow, Charlie's wrist take it. You see him going off oh nice. Oh wow. You see his the call outs. He has some of the, oh, his call outs. No, it was it was no the up B actually really kills. Charlie just has some yeah. really good call outs. Like yeah. he he called him out the first game with the side B and he called him out right here. It's like how, yeah. how are you gonna react to that? Yeah. And then yeah. how are you gonna like Yeah, but Latin needs to keep pressure on him off stage. He He's getting Charlie, but he's keep letting him get back on stage for free. He needs to like just go out there and just yeah. and throw off the hitboxes. I wonder if like uh, counter would um, yeah would counter be would do really good versus side B, um, especially when he's out of distance. If you try to do the side B, it's really effective. But right now Charlie's recovering low with the um, with the up B. I would like yeah. to see Vladimir go off stage, go for stage spikes, or you know try to get Charlie off, you know hit him off stage when low. Yeah, because like I mean uh, that's his. That's Wolf's worst, you know, aspect. Yeah, he has recovery. like a really, he has, a, he has a, yeah, people say he has a bad recovery, but his recovery is really strong, but it's still at the same time exploitable. Like yeah, super it's still, yeah, you know, he's a, I like the balance, you know. The Charles done a really good job of recovering low on it. Oh, nice. Wow. Dancing, Ooh, dancing blade, not, oh, they really nerfed that move, huh? There you go. Ooh. Yeah, they did. There you go, let's see. Like, it. the tipper doesn't really, like, I, uh, I think if you rack up a little more damage, you get an up throw here. Go oh, wow! Vladdy, he has to send us to game three if he wants to have another chance to knock out Charlie the King. Wow. Looking Charlie. Oh, here he goes. He's not doing let's a bad see. job. He's not. Oh, okay. Let's see the edge guarding. He needs to be careful. Oh, he had the shield weakening. He could just throwing out those hit boxes. He would have yeah. had Charlie. He needs, needs to be careful. I like the uh, ramp. Oh, like he's playing it. Up, up, up throw. Up throw. No. Oh, wow. I'm up smash. I know, up throw would have done it, but oh, he got no, I, I, I he got a up smash uh, dancing, but he could do some all oh, nope. back air, reading the tech chase with the back air. Dang. He takes game three. These last games both been last stock, but yeah. fine takes this stock. Charlie was bringing it back. Lion was able to close it out. Wow. At the end, let's I, see. I just noticed that like Charlie had like 407 percent dealt to him. Like yeah. that was one of the last yeah. details I got to see. Well, yeah, so That's I mean, because it was a lot of percent. Because uh, what is if he's had like 407, like 400 percent with three stocks? That's saying Valadin was having a hard time killing. Because mm -hmm. Wolf is um, not one of the heaviest characters. He's also a light character. So even though Valadin won, he has to net these stocks a lot quick, especially with a character like Lucina. Yeah. Like he has to net the stocks um, a little bit earlier if he wants to feel more comfortable. Yeah. And like you know, the the most deadly Martina names are always kind of just like, kind of, you know, luring people into yeah. you know very like, uh, like I guess, um, uh, I guess options that people would like go for very obviously, yeah. and then just capitalizing on that. And uh, I've seen a lot of that happen with uh, Vladin, and I think he just needs to turn it up. Oh, here we go. Here, so. <laughs> Try to get the down smash, and here, okay. So like the last few games, the ones that take the first stock seem to take the two win game. Yeah. So let's see if the trend keeps up, or let's well, can turn it around. Uh, I, I don't see the FD pick. I much rather him went to a stage with platforms. I feel the sorties excel. I feel both characters can excel at on um, platforms, but I think Lucina gets more off on platforms just because uh, she can cope with her sword. Yeah. I feel like 
I know she wants to have a. Um, I don't. Me personally, I don't see the FD pick. Um, if me personally, I think it benefits in this matchup in particular. He has a laser. He can't get over. So I don't know if he's trying to catch his landings or what. But it looks like the kind of uh, playing in Wolf's favor. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because he control. I mean, because Lucina's already somewhat of a. She doesn't fa fall the fastest. So like, I have a feeling this matchup she's gonna have a harder time landing than Wolf. Yeah. So that's why I wish. Uh, I feel Vlad should just stuck with a stage with some platforms. So. Because Wolf has fair strings, he has his dash attack. He has like an open field. Wolf, Wolf is really good on a lot of stages, but yeah. I feel like he well, actually went to like uh, I don't know what Charlie Ban in particular, but oh, I, I think uh, Charlie Charlie's the one who picked because he lost in that last. Oh yeah, match. you're right. Oh, look at me. <laughs> no, no, but like everything you're saying is basically <laughs> yeah. like it's so right I mean, the other way. So therefore, yeah, so it's right. So Charlie did get a good counter pick. Yeah, it was it's working in his favor. I was yeah, about to say. yeah. My, I'm, <laughs> no, it's all good. Yeah, because I'm looking at the. Uh, I'm looking at the score. It was still says 1-0. That's oh, yeah. why I'm thinking it was Vlad. So my my apologies for that. It's all good. It was Charlie's counter pick, and it was a good counter pick for Charlie. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. I wonder, yeah. So Charlie really, really felt like knew what he had. I, now Vlad knows. Hopefully he'll ban FD in the future, and this matchup in particular. Yeah. Because I, Charlie's looking to win this one very convincingly. Yeah. But Vlad, he's not out yet though. Hey, he at least he gets be, that sock off. Yeah, he get a stock. He could get a couple if he get a couple of gimps in here. He, could, he has like five minutes to work with. Let's see if he can <laughs> poke Charlie up at neutral. But Charlie's looking to close it out and went on to move, went, move on to winners semis. He, he got Charlie just throwing out really hard smash attacks. He just wants it to get over with already. I mean, yeah, it's a really safe option with 28% in the stock. Yeah, he's like, here you go. Well, that's uh, here. Yeah, he's getting them. But I want to see him take more advantage of the ledge trap here. Here you go. Definitely. There you go. He's yep. on the edge guard. Oh, Ooh, fair. Wow. Been, I think he was going for the heavy hit, but I feel yep. fair would have been just a nice one to just poke at him with. But that's playing really good right now. There you go. Ooh, I mean, I wonder if he could like follow it up with a forward air after, you know? Yeah, he, uh, yeah a forward would have been nice, but at least done damage. Oh, he wouldn't have killed, but would have done damage. Yeah. He was going for the heavy knockback with the uh, nair. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a good call up, but it was just a. He just fell too, a little bit too quickly. Yeah. Like, not that he oh, fast nice. fell. Good F to by Charlie Edgar. Yeah. Charlie takes game three. That's such a safe move. option. Yeah, it's a really good option. It's a two hit move. So you can't really fault that. Charlie showing he can do it with Wolf. Showing that he adapted to game three. That was really good by both players. Yeah. Just, yeah, the FD. Good, good counter. I felt good counter pick by Charlie.